So I find it really interesting how in a lot of deep chord tracks, there's just quite a lot of noise occurring. Specifically in the tracks, Moving Lights and Immersion 1. Links to those are below. I mention these because I just think that if you're just like searching for some new ideas or some new concepts that you might want to apply to your own production, I think that Deep Chord's use of noise in production is quite interesting and might be worth looking into. And these are some cool tracks to check out. For example, I'm, I'm sure if you're watching this, you may have heard that, you know, sometimes people will insert like little background noise into tracks just to like provide some atmosphere or some irregularity or some some sort of like the way I like to view it is like if you have a uh, like a kick and a clap that are like perfect on the grid when you're hearing it mentally you hear a kick then a clap then a kick then a clap and if you put some noise in the background that has some irregularities in it not only are you getting this and that and this and that but while that's occurring, you're also getting a little, little like that. <laughs> and at least for me, I feel like that it just kind of creates a, a more a, a more like wholesome, a more like hmm, just a more interesting vibe. I, I I don't know the best word to describe it, but to me, it just it seems a little bit more like. But this is just my opinion, of course. Some people might not like that. Take everything I'm saying and. Distill it however you want. I'm just saying like how I view music and appreciate it and think about it and whatever. But okay, back to the deep chord. Basically, I think it's cool because while, you know, there's ways to use noise where it's just kind of sitting in the background a little bit, I feel like deep chord just kind of shoves it up front and it's the it's just... Did you hear that? I don't know if you heard that. I was doing construction outside. With deep chord tracks, you have a lot of noise, like a lot more forward in the mix. And... I think it does also give me a similar effect, like I said, where because I'm listening to the noise, it just makes the whole track have such an organic quality. And again, I know this is a concept that people talk about a lot, but I feel like the way Deep Chord does it, it's it's just very upfront. It's it's a lot more obvious than normal. So if you're looking for some cool ideas with your own productions, or if you're just like interested in Deep Chord music, then go ahead and listen to those tracks and listen for the noise and see if that gives you some ideas for, again, how you might want to produce some of your stuff. But uh, yeah, that's it. That's the main thing I want to talk about. Maybe we'll break down some deep chord later. I don't know. I'm thinking of making more videos like this where instead of just breaking down the whole track, I kind of just talk about the cons. Because I feel like if you've been watching my breakdown videos, normally we're talking about arrangement. And then once in a while, we'll pause and talk about a specific concept. Uh, but uh, basically, I figured in these videos we could maybe just focus straight on the concepts and then you have to go and listen. And hopefully you've already listened to it before, but if not, go check it out. Maybe you'll get a new idea. And plus, I can monetize these videos, so that's better for me too. Listen to Deep Chord. And also consider checking out my Patreon page. If you've been watching these videos and getting value out of it, I'd really appreciate it. If you do five, you also get track feedback from myself where you can send me a track. I'll listen to it. And I try and give you like a detailed response on... Like, for example, if you have a specific question, I'll address your question. Otherwise, I can say, hey, this is generally what I think about the track. Hey, maybe try giving a mono mix on your bass because your bass is struggling a little bit. Maybe try muting this and that. You know, I'll give you my thoughts on it. Um, but like anything, it's just my opinion. Do what sounds good to you. Don't take what I'm saying too seriously. This is just, I'm just telling you how I view production and view things. But uh, yeah. So for $5, you get that track feedback. You also get some samples that I recorded, some ambient samples around like Austin, Detroit, Toledo, uh, I think somewhere else, Ann Arbor. And there might be more samples coming too. And then for 35, you get all of that. And you also get a one-on-one -on -one Zoom lesson with myself where we can, or if you're in uh, Berlin, we can do it in person, depending on some Corona stuff. We can talk about that. And we can kind of go over within reason whatever you want in regards to music. We can talk about production, mixing. We can talk about, uh, yeah, like other tracks you're interested in and how they work. And yeah, I can also like take a look at your mix and talk about it with you. We can talk about just using Ableton if you're super new. I can also tell you about how to maybe expedite your production process. And yeah, so okay, check it out, Patreon. Thanks for watching. Bye.